Holy shit. I just got the best idea ever. I right, let's get into prep work. Dude, this it's gonna if this if this is good, I'm a my mind is blown. Oh, oh bruh. Today I'll be making Korean corn cheese quesadilla. I don't know why no one's done this, but this was so bomb. I just saw a can of corn and I was like, I'm either a genius or an idiot. But here's the recipe. Dude, this was so good. Oh my goodness. So I didn't defrost my chicken. So this is what happens when you just think of ideas on the spot. <clears throat> Once your chicken is done defrosting, you can put your aromatics. So I put garlic, ginger, and the whites of a green onion. To that, you can either add some mixture of gochujang, gochugaru, or Korean pepper place, but this is so much easier, and also I really wanted to eat it, so I just put a few drops of the bulldog, which is the spicy Korean instant noodle sauce, and then I put some soy sauce, and some salt. Oh my god, and no lie, I'm recording this later, but this was so good, I'm probably going to make this today as well. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so after you do that, just mix everything and let it marinate for a bit while we start cutting our vegetables. So to my quesadilla, I just put the Korean pickled daikon. I put some green onion. And then I put some kimchi and some mushroom. I forgot to hit record when I was cutting the mushroom, but there's mushroom in there. So, and some mushroom. <laughs> and also, tip, to not get yelled at by anyone that shares your cutting board. Don't cut your kimchi on the cutting board. Put it on a plate, and then cut it with scissors or a knife on the plate. So you don't get slapped the next time someone uses the cutting board. Also, be careful while you're doing this so that nothing falls on the cutting board and you still don't get slapped trying to avoid getting slapped. Whoops. Anyway, time to make the star of the show, or at least what I consider to be the star of the show. Corn cheese! So just get some corn, and then mix it with the mayonnaise. Dude, that mayonnaise is so universal. Legit. Anyways, and then you put some cheese of your choice. I'm using fat-free mozzarella. And then some pepper and some salt. Mix to incorporate, and then just leave it there until we need it later. After it's marinated for a bit, and all the flavors got all melted together and stuff, you start grilling it. And then you put some mushrooms in there, and they just put some bell peppers. I never said that this was authentic. I never claimed to be a chef. I'm just giving you ideas. And let me tell you, this was a bomb-ass idea. Here's my spoon, refusing to cooperate. Thanks, spoon. Afterwards, you put in your bell pepper because you forgot earlier. Yes, you should actually be putting in your bell pepper beforehand to make it softer, but... Shh. But that doesn't change the fact that it was still hella freaking delicious. Anyway, once that's done cooking, just scoop it up and move it aside. Was there a more efficient way to scoop this up? Probably. Did I have to get every single last piece of bell pepper from the pan? Yes. It was freaking delicious. Now for assembly! Now turn your heat to low and start toasting your tortilla. And while that's warming up, we can work on our uh, corn cheese. So just microwave the mixture that we had earlier for about a minute or whenever you deem necessary. And then we can get on to assembly. Hey assembly, it's almost time to eat. And this wouldn't be a cheese recipe without a gratuitous cheese pull shot. So that's unnecessary. Anyways, so now flip your tortilla. And quickly start adding this stuff. You don't want the tortilla to get hard. I've made too many quesadillas where I was not able to fold the tortilla because it was hard. And that sucks, and you just get nacho chips with, you basically just get a nacho platter. But yeah, so put in your meat mixture, and then all the yummy vegetables. Cheese corn! Oh yes. Oh hell yeah. Don't forget, get every single last drop of cheese corn, and then fold. Gotta hurry and do this before it gets stiff. Taste it might be too big, but that's never a problem. Oh 
Oh, that looks so good. Let's just take some time to admire this beautiful creation. Mm. Should I open it? Oh, put it back down. Put it back down. Put it down. It's too small. This should fit. Oh my god, editing this video is so hard. Almost done. Okay, just add some more of the bulldog sauce. Rub it and then just add some green onion to make it pretty and add a little bit of freshness to it. Mainly just to make it look pretty, but I'm not a food stylist either, so don't ask me for advice. I need to do a mandatory cross-section shot, but my phone quality is so bad in this shot, I have no idea why. I don't know if it's the lighting or whatever, but this is the best I could do with my phone quality. I'm so sad. This shot does not do it justice. Okay. I'm super excited. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Cheese, corn, Korean quesadilla with spicy chicken. Mmm. The daikon, oh, it's spicy. But the dai, oh, but the daikon is so nice, really refreshing. I just like cut, dude. Dude, I'm a genius. Wait, okay, legit. I don't know why no Korean fusion place has thought of this. Cheese corn quesadilla. Holy shit! Wait. Wait, that's actually hella good. <clears throat> Wait, okay. Like, I know a lot of people probably think I might be like, Ooh, it's coming. No, it's coming. No. It's coming apart. No. Okay, I'm not a chef. Never said I was a chef. But, you think I'm hyping this? But this is so bomb. Like, people already, people already use, like, Corn and um, like salsa, right? <clears throat> so why not in a quesadilla, but with Korean topping? Dude, okay, this is already hella good with like fat-free mozzarella and like my homemade mayo. Imagine if they used a the real thing. Mmm. Mini cheese bowl. Like. Can someone just, can an actual Korean fusion place make an actual version of this? I feel like I'm gonna try to improve on it using just the low calorie foods that I have. But can like an actual like restaurant place make this and just sell it so that I can just eat it like every cheat meal? So messy. I don't know what to do with it. Ooh. That marin dude. The hot sauce marinade that I made for the chicken. Hella good. I don't even know if you can see my face, but I don't care. Hmm. Alright. You saw what I put on it. Chicken breast, mushroom, green bell pepper, um, daikon kimchi, all super low calorie, low calorie wrap. I'm eating like an animal. It's just so bomb though. Why is this not already a thing? If you know someone that can make it a thing, please make it a thing. This is so bomb. If you make your own version, tag me. Holy oh, shit. And what is this? Entire, here's the idea. 
Let's see. So, <clears throat> about 50 grams worth of mozzarella, or 50 calories worth of mozzarella, like 50 grams worth, or 50 calories worth of all the vegetables. Kimchi, maybe another like 20 grams. So what is that 120, 170 in total for with the case with the uh, with the tortilla. Oh, it's so spicy. The chicken breast, 100 grams or 100 calories because it was two ounces. So like, what number am I? 270. The mayonnaise is like maybe 20, 25, 30 calories. It's like. 300 calories in total, maybe 315 with a 315, 320 with like if you include the garlic, soy sauce. Oh, it's so good though. I like it hurts, but oh my goodness. I I'm just gonna finish this. See you later. Before I embarrass myself some more. <laughs>